Fireworks are a class of low-explosive pyrotechnic devices used for aesthetic and entertainment purposes. Fireworks take many forms to produce the four primary effects, noise, light, smoke, as well as floating materials. They may be designed to burn with colored flames and sparks, including red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and silver. Displays are common throughout the world and are the focal point of many cultural and religious celebrations. Let's explore the working mechanism in a detailed manner. This is the mortar tube. This helps the firework shell to send up into the air at a perfect angle. The mortar tube is packed with pyrotechnic chemicals. This is the base layer of the mortar. It is made up of clay. This is the layer of gunpowder. This layer is also known as the lifting charge. Gunpowder has been widely used as a propellant in firearms, artillery, rocketry, and pyrotechnics, including use as a blasting agent. Gunpowder consists of a mixture of sulfur, carbon, and potassium nitrate. This is the visco fuse. That initiates the function of burning. It is used to create a delay of time in the firing. Fuse has a core of black powder with one or more textile overwraps. The outer layers may be coated with wax for water resistance. These fuses are widely used in modern pyrotechnics because they burn at a uniform rate. This is the main part of the firework, the aerial shell. Inside the aerial shell, the pyrotechnic pellets are arranged in a specific shape. That shapes will display when the fireworks explode in the sky. Meaning that the shape of the firework explodes is based on the pellets arrangement inside the shell. This is the burst charge which creates an explosion in the sky. It is made up of gunpowder. These are the cardboard discs. It helps to keep the shell in place within the mortar, meaning that it provides proper sealing for the shell. Let's take a closer look at what actually happens after the ignition. The main fuse lights the lift charge. The result of ignition of lift charge generates heat and gas. The trapped heat and gas will push vigorously at the inside of the launch tube until an explosion results. This explosion will free the heat and gas and hurtle the firework shell as high as 1,000 feet into the air, and then the time delay fuse ignites simultaneously. When the shell reaches a certain height, the time delay fuse lights the burst charge. Then the burst charge explodes. As the result, the pyrotechnic pellets are burning and expanding in the sky. To make different shapes in the sky, firework technicians simply set up different patterns of pellets inside the packaged shell. For example, if the pellets are in a circle shape, you get a circle display of colors. Different colors need different compositions. Strontium which will give red, barium that gives green, copper gives blue, aluminum and magnesium gives twinkles and glitters.